and that, uh, the, the feelings and the passion of the fans were there. And the fighters wanted to come back to Japan's uh, MMA, and they wanted to participate in the stage. And the fighters really understood what the Japanese fan really wanted. So I think it, so they were performing well, and I think there was no uh, deal within that, and I think they were very straightforward in fighting their best. And hopefully, leaving the baton uh, had been um, uh, shifted or given to uh, the in the best condition to the 31st, the second day. The, ba the banner. Uh, I said no, he rejected. What do you think about him? And Barato, Mr. Barato, on the 31st, I think people expected much on to this, and, he said, uh, and the, the contract with Mr. Jerome, we do have uh, that, um, that it's, it's not an exhibition match, it's not, although some French uh, media said that, so I think that's uh, probably wrong. Uh, Fido, uh, was offered first. Uh, he said, but we did it ask, actually. We never would say, say an exhibition match for Fedor. So I think he misunderstood, and I think um, he's saying something wrong to the, the French fan. But we do have a, a contract, a formal contract with his signature. And I think Jerome uh, is actually um, responding to that. And the rules were already uh, published at three, three minutes, three round, and he really appreciated that. In the first uh, negotiation, he said 10 minutes is too long for him. He actually said it. So about 20th or so, um, Mr. Uh, Banner actually came uh, with the different, uh, all the items which was under uh, the, the actual contract, and he, although he signed it, he said no uh, to certain things, and then there was a new negotiator all of a sudden. So, uh, uh, this was the first time that me and Mr. Banner had a, had a direct contract in the uh, negotiation signature uh, with him, so this he was very tricky, so we are actually thinking about some legal um, actions, uh, and we have that in mind as well. But we need to talk to him, uh, them, um, and that's what I we, we expect to do, so, but in that uh, negotiation, I really want, we really wanted uh, to, Mr. Banner to uh, participate, and we really uh, wanted people to, uh, he to come, and we wanted people to wait until the last, uh, last time, but actually we could not get a yes answer until the end. So, at this timing, uh, who could, uh, could uh, be uh, fight, uh, fighting uh, Mr. Barato, and we, we, who, we kind of thought about who could actually uh, go with the message, the same message as Mr. Jerome. Uh, so I think we were lucky, very lucky, to find Peter, and he's going to help us out. So we were really desperate. As Mr. Peter Art actually already said, that was the fact. Uh, what, what he was uh, in Okinawa and he was with Fujimar, uh, he was a coach uh, for Shinba. And he thought that Sakaki Bar was actually coming to Okinawa for that. And then I actually offered him to uh, and asked him if he could help us with uh, fighting Barto. And he was really surprised, but he was very passionate. And so that w it was very. Uh, appreciative and also he also thought about the Japanese fans and at that point uh, he said he's going to take the offer and if he's he said that he if he's um, wanted he will go he also said that uh, because he's going to uh, participate in rising and he wants the the younger um, uh, fighters and want to uh, go and have these uh, younger fighters participate in the rising. So he's just like a Fedor in that sense. So all these Russians are very strong. Oh, very scary to see all those uh, Russian fighters. But Peter also uh, want the, the, the stage for uh, his uh, younger um, 
people to actually uh, fight on rising, and we want. I hope that we could um, uh, participate on both sides. So um, the team Fedor is very strong. Yes, he, they're too strong, very strong. Yes, we knew and we thought, know that a strong, not just opponent being the Jesuit, AJ Matthews, he's a very Bellator. They are, he has a very good fight. And Scott Coker actually said that he was very um, um, sure about his uh, fighter, but um, he didn't uh, fight well at all. So how should I say this? Russians. So all the Fedor team, Fedor are all good. Everybody's very serious, and they are all uh, looking for second Fedor. And actually, MMA Union is a, a national sport. Uh, national organization, and we have national team people uh, participate in about 8,000 uh, potential fighters uh, training, so uh, we need to be aware of that. So my position is a federation, but uh, we need to train uh, the, the younger fighters, but we can't just um, depend on the fighters. Uh, we will not be able to get a world of class uh, fighters from the current organization, so it was a thing. So we need to look forward in many years and to have that kind of organization to have a training and that is already happening in Russia. Hi Mr. Sakakubara, I, I ask in, in English. Uh, uh, my, my first question is, uh, what is your impression about the, the Gaigoku, Gaigoku fighters like uh, King Mo, uh, we have a Brazilian guy. Uh, he, he he failed the the weight. Uh, if you can explain about that too, uh, and uh, uh, and the Russian guys because you mentioned it uh, before. まずはい。えっと、多分イエス。アメリカのファンの人たち。あ、イ。メディカムスユエスファンス。um, I think, uh, except King Mo's, I think uh, all of the fighters are unknown fighters to U.S. Um, fans. So that uh, symbolizes that uh, fact that there are many unknown fighters everywhere in the world, in Czech, Lithuania, or Poland, Russia. So, um, UFC is not the only uh, the organization who owns top fighters. When we go out of Japan, when you take a look at the entire world, we um, can find out fighters uh, to